All right. Chapter 2, Greatness yeah, from go. Small Beginnings. What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 2 of my Uncharted Let's Play. And here we get introduced to Drake's journal, which only has three pages to it right now. But he fills it out throughout the game, so it ends up being a lot bigger. There's um, seven treasures in this cap chapter, first of which is right here. And it is a emerald and a diamond ring. And on the topic of treasures, I said I would show you all 100 treasures uh, in this Let's Play, but I also meant 101, Not here. which means 100 treasures plus like the strange relic, so same deal. And uh, before you go up those stairs right there, if you go to the right over here behind this plant, there is another treasure. I just had it. What am I? There it is. Why can't I get it? What the hell? Maybe I need to open his journal. Then can I? Yeah, there we go. It is a antique coin purse. It's just what I needed. And sorry if you hear my dogs in the background, but they're parking right now. There's nothing I can do about it, so my bad. Here we head upstairs to the second floor of the Francis Drake exhibit. Security guard watching. And here you can check each exhibit by pushing up on the D-pad down the bottom left corner there. And it'll tell you like what the exhibit is, but don't bother with that. Just go right to this one, press up, and trigger the cutscene. Ratita callejera, suélteme. Clase de gente no es bienvenida aquí. Quédate afuera. Pendejo. Apparently Drake knows Spanish. I still haven't figured out exactly why you get thrown out of the museum because I don't think I did anything wrong. Maybe I snuck in and didn't buy a ticket, possibly. Here's a third treasure right as you walk out behind this blue car in the doorway right here. We get a spoon, antique Colombian soup ladle. All right, so we get a fancy spoon. Gotta keep up with it. Here we just gotta follow Sully without him noticing. Oh, we go this way. I f almost forgot. Oh my god, I'm sure you can hear my dogs, I'm sorry. There he is. So this explained you how to take cover, just press circle next to something, and you'll like lock into place next to it. Uh, moving your left stick and pressing circle puts you around cover or jumps to like the next piece of cover. Don't mind if I do. This is disgusting. You can even see the flies on it, and he grabs it and eats it. <sighs> it was rotten anyway. Keep following Sully up here. Looks like he's heading into the marketplace. Oh, 
I guess I just gave away that it was Sully, but I'm sure you guys already guessed from the resemblance between him and the man we just played in played with in chapter one. And behind this blue stand on the pottery display is your fourth treasure for this chapter. It is a pottery chime you vessel. And Sully goes over there, but instead of going there, you're gonna want to get your fifth treasure by going left and up these stairs. And up at the top, you find a voodoo doll type deal. An ancient Chai Chupi Chupi Quaro figure. There we go. Now we can go follow uh, Sully through the forest of decapitated pigs? Question mark. The sound I want to do over was like, I assume you guys have uh, concluded that, or inferred that this is my. I'm new to making videos, so the quality is not going to be super awesome. And I might have to like tweak some things, so you just got to work with me here. I'm curious as to where he got his key because I don't have one. Oh, damn. So we get to pretty much my favorite part of the Uncharted series is honestly climbing. Like I don't know, I love the climbing mechanics in this game. Thought it made it a lot more fun. <laughs> Jump up here, get on the air conditioning unit, jump up to this yellow pipe, and use these type... I don't even know what they are, but use them as monkey bars. <clears throat> and we hear Sully. Jump across here, jump up to this thing over here. Aquí lo tiene. That's a ticket. Looks like Sully just got a key copied for him. I gotta get that wallet. Crap. I can't go down that way. Keep moving. Jump on. Oh shit. I'm kinda curious as to how the security guard really didn't hear that because that was pretty loud. Jump onto this balcony and the sixth treasure of this chapter is right in front of this plant here. Face. Shamanistic jaguar head. Looks nothing like a jaguar. But whatever. I'll roll with it. This kid has serious balls. I'd be pretty scared to do this. And here comes a superhuman jump. Climb up onto this roof. And the final treasure in this chapter is right here. You gotta climb up this sign, and right in the O, you get a butter knife. Antique Colombian table knife. So it was a butter knife. I'm so good at this game. Just, uh, I don't know if it showed that or not, but press circle to drop down. And you just keep pressing circle, and you'll get onto this blue thing. Come around here, press up, and you'll see Sully walking away with a anonymous woman. So we'll follow him up the stairs. Oh my god. I'm gonna try to edit out my dogs barking in the cutscenes at least. Hopefully that'll make it a little bit better. So that way I only have to hear while I'm talking instead of... uh. Don't want to go down when there. a cutscene's playing. I don't know why I'm so scared of these security guards. Am I like I gotta a fugitive? A Do I have like a bounty on me? I don't know. Okay. Follow him over this pocket. boost. My We're gonna try to pickpocket him. It seems we have some time to kill. Hmm, does she remind you of anybody that we recently saw? And just as we think we're about to get away... Crap! Swag to me, viejo! Let's try that again. 
Let go of me. Ah, that's what I thought. Now don't try to run. You're a long way from home, son. Don't call me that. Parents must be worried about you. <laughs> yeah, not likely. Okay, sore subject. That was a nice lift back there. You're pretty good. I don't know what you're talking about, old man. Hey, don't call me that. Your technique is really sloppy, though. You're telegraphing all your moves. You're crazy. Yeah? You've been tailing me all over town. Probably figured me for an easy mark. But you picked the wrong guy, pal. Uh, uh. What? My wallet. Fine. Maybe we'll just call the police. Go ahead. Of course, they might wonder why a middle-aged tourist is following young boys down alleyways. <laughs> you are a crafty little beggar, aren't you? I know how to take care of myself. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you don't like the cops any more than I do. Good point. Kid. The wallet. Had to try. Of course you did. And with that, we're going to end it off, because this is the beginning of the cutscene to Chapter 3. So, I'll see you guys next time. Remember to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for the rest of the series.